from Matthew Vaughn, the English action director who's not Guy Ritchie, comes a James Bond movie with more cursing. I look like I give a Blood and butt sex, or at least more explicit butt sex, in an action spy comedy parody YA satire thriller that left audiences saying, man, I did not expect that movie to be as good as it was. Kingsman, The Secret Service. When a suave British secret agent, who's definitely not James Bond, trains a young protege to definitely not become the next James Bond, supervised by an old authority figure who's definitely not him, and helped by a gadget wizard who's definitely not Q, to fight a bald supervillain in a mountain lair who's definitely not Blofeld, the only way to convince you that you're not watching an actual James Bond movie is to constantly remind you that you're not. You like spy movies? I always felt the old Bond films were only as good as the villain. The part where you say something really bad, pun? This ain't that kind of movie, bro. What's his name? JB. As in James Bond? No. We get it. Meet Eggsy, your average London tough guy, who's also a trained Marine, parkour expert, former gymnastics champ, pickpocket, and stunt driver. When he pisses off the kind of British guys you need closed captioning to understand. You think you can chat about us and we won't do nothing just because our governor's banging Eggsy's mum? You're looking for another rent boy, they're on the corner of Smith Street. He'll use a magical get out of jail free necklace to join the Kingsmen, a secret agency formed by elite rich aristocrats who answer to no one, kill anybody they think is a threat, and ask you to murder your own dog to join their ranks. You know, the good guys? Shoot the dog. Watch them square off with an equally over-the-top bad guy in Richmond Valentine, a man hell-bent on stopping global warming with an equally over-the-top plan by giving away evil SIM cards which he just assumes everyone will know how to replace and use that are programmed to make everyone in the world kill each other through brainwaves or something. Unless Richmond puts an easily detectable chip in your brain that he can use to kill you instantly, which every world leader agrees to for some reason. Yet somehow, the dumbest part of this patently ridiculous evil plan is Sam Jackson's distracting Tweety Bird meets Mike Tyson voice. You are totally the reason I am here. I'm pretty sure the director was scared to tell him that that idea was stupid. So strap in for all the gadgets, blatant product placement, I'll have the Big Mac, please. And worldwide intrigue you love about the Bond films, but with even more boring snooty Britishness like extreme politeness. I'm so sorry. Manners make it mad. Male fashion advice. A bespoke suit, never off the peg. An Oxford is any formal shoe with open lacing. Basket requires top hat. A gentleman traditionally wears the signet on his left hand. And really specific drink orders. Get the 62 Dalmont. In 1815, Napoleonic brandy. It's 45 Lafitte. Martini. Gin, not vodka, obviously. Stirred for 10 seconds while glancing at an unopened bottle of vermouth. Thank you. You're not James Bond. We get it. Starring The Kingsman's Speech. Hot Austin Powers, Stanley Tucci-ish, King Arthur and the Knights of the Rectangle, Professor Joker, the Westboro Baptist Church, Blades of Gory, and Daniel L. Jackson. King's, man, that movie came out of nowhere. One notable absence from the red carpet was Iggy Azalea, still missing. Well, at least some good came out of this. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Manners maketh man. My suit is black, not straight out of Compton. You wear only supposed to blow the bloody doors of. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Drop that zero and get with Hero.